Do you think that it's okay for someone who calls himself a Christian to listen to secular music? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about that today. Hey there, my name is Wayne Riz and on this channel we're walking the journey toward Jesus together. So let's start this conversation by defining secular music. I would say that secular music is any music that isn't created by Christians and for Christians. Now realistically, the music, the notes, don't really have much secular or sacredness to them, but the lyrics and the words do. When I was in middle school and high school, they had those posters that said, if you like this secular band, try this Christian band. And some of those Christian bands were mediocre at best. Um, but to be fair, some secular bands are also pretty, pretty awful. Sometimes just in the Christian market, it gets more playtime and more popularity because of the message that it has. And that's really the main thing that we're going to look at in the music is the message of the music. So as Christians, our opinion on something, what we think about it, isn't actually the most important thing. Our opinion needs to fall in line with what the Bible says. And while there's no verse in the Bible that says, thou shalt not listen to music that isn't written by Christian people, there is a verse in Paul's letter to the church at Philippi that states, Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellence and anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. So, so Paul is writing to the church. He's saying, whatever is good, whatever is holy, dwell on these things. Music, the lyrics from songs and the melodies tends to get stuck in our heads. Maybe not yours, but mine. And if that music has a message that is contrary to the scriptures, then that's going to get into our heads and we're going to constantly be thinking about that. Sometimes we think, oh, uh, we should meditate on scripture. What we don't realize is like, we probably inadvertently meditate on the words of songs that are stuck in our head. We're thinking about them over and over and over throughout the day. So that should matter. Those words should matter. Uh, one album that we listen to quite a bit right now is the Greatest Showman soundtrack. And there's nothing wrong with most of that album. There's one song that has a couple words in it, which we don't actually even have that song. We just didn't buy it. But there are times that we don't listen to that. Like in the first thing in the morning, we're getting ready for school. And when we're getting ready for bed for the last couple of hours of our day, we have a Christian music only policy. Um, I just believe that that's helpful. It helps us to start our day uh, with, with good Christian solid messages getting into our heads and to end our, way, end our day in the same way. So I don't actually have any reason to do the hood slide. I'm not going anywhere. I just want to hood slide. So we need to use our noggin with what we listen to. And I think this applies to music that is secular as well as Christian music. You need to use your noggin. We can't just turn on Caleb and be like, oh, this music is great because it's on Christian radio. There's some songs on Caleb that I think are like, Meh, I don't think that's an accurate representation of what the Bible says. So we need to use our noodle when we listen to music. We can't just listen to it because it does impact us. It does affect us, I think. So I think when we ask, can a Christian listen to secular music? My answer would be, use your brain, use your noggin with whatever you're listening to, whether it's considered Christian music or secular music, and just know that those lyrics are getting stuck in your head and that's going to influence your life. Use your noggin, whatever you listen to. Like I said, for our family, we listen to probably 95% Christian music and the rest of the stuff is clean. If you're listening to stuff that's talking about drugs and sex and all that business, that's going to be more in your thought processes because of that music. Anyways, thank you so much for checking out the video. You guys can subscribe to join our community, get new videos every week. I'd love it if you'd leave me a comment, let me know if you enjoyed this. Hope you have a great week. Take care, Panda Bear.